Hello, my name is Bryce Hementhal, and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer for Go Engineer. In this quick tips video, I will be discussing how to add custom cables that do not already exist in the SOLIDWORKS electrical library. So initially here, I've just opened up SOLIDWORKS electrical, and the first thing we're going to do is go up to the library tab and open up the cable reference manager. So SOLIDWORKS electrical provides numerous amounts of cables that are broken up into different classifications. But to create a custom cable, we're going to go up into this new reference. First, when you create a custom cable, you're going to have to decide what conductor size standard you are going to abide by. And I'm going to select the gauge AWG standard. And for a language, I'll leave it as English. Now we can enter in our cable properties. First, we're going to enter in our part number which usually is a company-wide standard, but for our part number we're going to select 0010113 pair 22 AWG. For our manufacturer today we're going to select Go Engineer. Next we're going to put in our class, which I'm going to leave as the AWG, but I'm going to select the subcategory since 22 AWG falls within that range. Next we're going to put it into a certain library, which is going to be the AWG cable, cables with AWG gauge. And we're going to select our family, which is going to be 22 AWG. All of this is searchable criteria, and also you could filter it by this criteria, so that later when you go to find your exact cable, you can narrow down your search to find a few cables instead of looking at thousands of cables. Some of this criteria is auto-populated, such as the creator, the creation date, and the modification date. Now we can enter in our characteristics of our, our cable. So I'm going to select the miscellaneous cable. For our diameter, I'm going to input as 10 millimeters. You can input a color, but I'm going to leave this as blank for right now. And for our conductor's gauge, I'm going to select 22 AWG. You may also put in description and other user data, depending on what your company desires. So now we can enter in our cores. This is going to have six cores, so now I'm just going to hit this add button six times. And you may reorder these as well as group these if you do wish. As I have all these selected, I'm going to input the gauge for these as 22, and it will, it will auto populate the rest of these cores. I'm also going to do the same thing for the color to change this to black except I'm going to go back and change these last two to blue and to green yellow. You may also ch change the type of core if you wish, but I'm going to leave all of these as miscellaneous. You can also change the description of each core if you do wish, or you can leave it as the default. I'm just going to change these first two just for illustration purposes. So now that we've created our new cable reference, all we have to do is hit OK, and our cable reference is created. But how do you find it in all this long list of cables? Well, we go over to this filter tab, and I already have selected the AWG class. Now we could just search by the criteria I input in, and it will, and it will slowly start to narrow down our selection. And finally, we've found it. Go Engineer. Similarly, we could have also done what we could also done. Since we know the part number, we could just put the part number in this reference dot box, and it will automatically just go straight to the cable. This has been a Bryce Eventhal with Go Engineer. I hope you enjoyed this quick tips video and for SolidWorks Electrical.